Hi guys, I just got off the first and the only vice president debate. Oof, oof, it's boring. How should I put it? Let's not blame the two vice president candidate first. Put them aside. Can I say something? I think the moderator is just so boring. She has nothing to say and constantly say thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you, sir. And we'll do it for four. Thank you. And she's like reading off her notes and not really looking into the eyes of the two candidates. She's not having a conversation. Oh my God. She's like a robot. I think Chris in the first presidential debate last week was a lot better. This debate is kind of like a historical moment in the U.S. because Kamala is the first woman of minority race to debate in the U.S. presidential election process. She's half black, half Indian. She's strong. I think her style is kind of like prosecuting her opponent because she's a prosecutor herself. Something new about this debate is that it touched some topic that was not touched by the first presidential debate last time which is actually one of the two broken aspects of the U.S. as a country, in my opinion. So one is education and the other is healthcare. And these are the two topics that I'm personally really passionate about. So I'm going to talk about education first. U.S. education is just too expensive for normal people to attend. I previously made a video that debate if it's worth it to pay 300k, 200k to attend a private school or IVD school because that's what I did to myself. In the end of the video, the conclusion is that yes, it's worth it because of all the benefits that I've got, the network, the people, the knowledge, the brands and all that. But education is not supposed to be so expensive. Yes, we should pay something for school because that's the service that we are receiving from school, from college. We should pay something, but not to the point that we should pay like 200k or 300k to attend school. It almost feels like we are being penalized as a good student who can get into like IVD school. Should we be penalized for attending an IVD school? I don't think so. No, no. No. No, we should get support from the government and get reimbursed for some amount of the student loan. Some of the Kamala's education policies are the two-year college would be free and the public college would be free also if the family makes $125,000 or less and there will be student loan debt cut. And in my opinion, education is the foundation to the economy. So we can't just talk about education without talking about the economy. But from the economy perspective, Kamala and Joe Biden don't have the credibility or track record to grow the economy, but Mike Pence did. He's actually known for his 1.1 billion tax cut when he was the governor in Indiana from 2013 to 2017. By 2016, Indiana had $2 billion budget surplus and AAA credit rating. Then on the healthcare topic, there are two parts. The first part is regarding the presidential disability discussion. So as you all know, President Trump is 74 years old and Joe Biden right now is 77. So by the time if Joe Biden wins the election, then he would be 78 years old. So the question on this debate is asking, have you ever had any discussion with President Trump or Joe Biden about the procedure or safeguard on potential president disability. Should the voters know more about the president's health more transparently? You know, I hate Kamala's answer here because she didn't answer the question and she's just basically saying how good she is in this question. Yes, Trump sucks. Yes, Trump sucks. Trump sucks in being transparent about his health information, which we have already seen in the past few days when he was in hospital. His doctor is delivering different kind of contradictory information about his health, which probably means it's what Trump instructed the doctor to do. Trump is not transparent about his health information, but look at how he talks. He's always loud and energetic, He's really keeping up the speed as a president. On the other hand, Joe Biden is not energetic, maybe because he's quiet or his personality. But personally, not trying to be age discrimination. One of the aspects I would consider who I should vote for is the president's health. I don't want to vote for someone who is struggling with his health or illness 
because if he's in bed, who's gonna to run our country? Another part about healthcare is not just the president's health, but also COVID-19 and coronavirus in general. So last week, Trump was tested positive and there are 24 people around Trump in the White House also tested positive. Look at these incidents. They just lost their credibility among American people. I mean, who's going to follow your guideline if the White House didn't do it themselves? So number four is a big topic as well. It's about climate change. Mike Pence and Kamala have totally two different stances. Kamala supports Green New Deal. She plans on reaching zero emission in her plans with Joe Biden, whereby Mike Pence objects the Green New Deal because he thinks it increases the energy cost for households. Trump and he believe in free economy and capital markets. My personal stance, I'm all in for environmental protection. But I think energy should be regulated by the government because it's essential for every single household. First, let's talk about the natural disaster. Hurricane, wildfire, it's really affecting our life. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've seen orange sky, smoky air that I can even open my window for many days. With the air quality index of 237, and I was having headache breathing into the bad air. And the apocalypse that I've never seen in my life. And secondly, look at the temperature. In the Bay Area, we were having 110 Fahrenheit degree or 42 Celsius degree. Even living in a tropical region like Singapore, there were no such 110 degree weather. Humans are okay about it, but a lot of pets are not used to this kind of weather. So I have a dog myself. He's been really struggling with the super hot weather in the Bay Area. You can see all of this in the previous video that I make about San Francisco as a dog. Another very interesting topic about this debate is the relationship with China. So the moderator asks, what do you think about American relationship with China? So for Mike Pence, everyone knows Trump hates China. And he made it very clear about all these coronavirus origins and everything. And Mike Pence is very loyal to Trump. This is very obvious. For Kamala, she thinks Trump destroyed all the relationship that Obama built with China, and she thinks Trump lacks leadership. What I think is that Trump is very pro-Americans and he's not diplomatic about foreign policies and relationships. There's nothing wrong or right here because Trump is not a typical politician. He's a businessman and Biden is much more of a very typical politician. So we should protect Americans as Americans but we should not establish enemies around the world against other countries. And because of all these enemies that we or American government has established around the world, it's taking a toll in our life. First of all, I'm a very avid world traveler. I've traveled to 138 countries. I wanted to visit every single country in the world, but it's very hard for American passport holders because our government relationships with Iran, with North Korea, and many other countries, okay, except for Equatorial Guinea, which is one of the countries where American passport is in great use, but many countries are not. But look at Singapore passport and Japan passport. They are powerful because Singapore and Japan make friends with other countries. They advocate for peace. That's why their passports are so powerful but American passports are not powerful anymore. Above all my personal reaction to this first and the only vice president debate, what do you think? Comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on your notification button. And check out my new YouTube channel, KK Success, dedicated to business topic only, and I'll see you at the comment section. Bye-bye. They just put up these glasses here, which they did not have during the first presidential debate. Above are my per above are my above are my personal above are my personal reaction above are my personal reaction to this first and the only five and turn on your no no and turn on and turn on your notification button and turn on your notification button. Check out my new YouTube new YouTube channel.